she has logged a lot of miles in the air. And today she's here to show you how she stays looking so good. It's Sabrina Maddow, our lifestyle expert. We're talking beauty yes. in the air because once you're in the air, you're dehydrated, uh, you're figuring out what to do, but your nails, your hair, your skin. So many ba bad things happen to your yes. beauty routine when you're in the air. And I have a lot of experience. So I want to start talking pre-flight prep. Okay. Um, one thing you want to take care of before the flight is your hair because there's not really much you can do once you're on board. You don't have access to showers right. or big bathroom spaces. So condition, condition, condition. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to look for something like John Frieda's Miraculous Recovery Line because not only does it repair damage, but it's going to give you this immediate smooth look and protection mm -hmm. from any humidity once you get off the plane in warmer climates. Okay. I really suggest using a deep conditioner or a hair mask right before you go and also right when you get off the plane plane the first time you shower to really give your hair all that deep nutrition it needs. Okay. Another great tool is to avoid any, a tip is to avoid any sort of heat styling. Okay. If you're going on a short flight, it's fine to get a blowout beforehand, but yeah. if it's like more than five hours and you're sleeping, your hair is not going to look good anyways. Right. So, <laughs> so don't bother. <laughs> look for a product like John Frieda's Dream Curls, where it's going to help you have that style without the blow drying. So okay. it's going to enhance your natural waves or curls, smooth them out, but you're not doing any damage before you even step on the plane. Okay. So you get the look without using the heat Absolutely. Tools, which is going to be damaging. Okay. Is this a sleep mask there? Yes, this is once you get on board. Okay. So one of the first things I like to do is set up my area. <laughs> and a great tip is to use silk pillowcases and sleep masks. Right. Don't use what the airline gives you yeah. because silk it's going to prevent any hair tangling, it's going to stop hair frizz, it's going to stop you from getting any extra creases on your skin or drying out. Yes. Um, and I like silk as a brand because you want to look for 100% mulberry silk. Not all silk oh. is created equal. Mulberry silk is the highest grade, it's hypoallergenic, mm -hmm. and it's also durable enough to be machine washable. So mm -hmm. you can throw it in a washer once you get to a hotel or a condo you're staying at and have it be clean again for your flight home. That's good and you can use it when you're away. A lot of people People do bring their own pillowcases with them when they yeah, travel. Yeah, you can use it at the hotel. Yeah. And another little tip, I like to add a few drops of lavender oil oh, to nice. the pillowcase because it's an aroma that helps you relax and sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday Plantation is a great brand because they're pharmaceutical grade. That means no synthetics, no fillers. It's 100% of the good stuff. Yes. And that's something you really want to see on a label. Very good. Are you a flight sleeper? I am. Yeah, I sometimes too. don't even make it past takeoff, to be honest. Good for you. I, I've like never heard a safety announcement in my oh, life. My Gosh, that's excellent though. So you can actually go like you are out. I'm pretty good and the stuff definitely helps. It helps. It helps. Okay, what do we have here? So moisture, moisture, moisture mm. is the secret to good skin getting off planes. Uh, I'd like to use a sheet mask okay. in the middle of a flight or even once I get off in the hotel. You want to look for a sheet mask that's made out of biocellulose material okay. because that's a material that holds 100 times its weight in water mm. or in serum. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a deeper hydration. The mask Masks tend to be around the $20 mark instead of the $5 mark, oh, but see. it's equivalent to a spa facial. So it's a good investment. Okay. I also love these capsules from Elizabeth Arden. Yes. They're pea-sized. You bring them on the plane, TSA friendly, just open them up and okay. you get everything you need all in one. Do you put the mask on on the plane and are people <laughs> scared of you? You know what? They can be scared because I'm going to look so good when I get off the plane. <laughs> I'll frighten them with my beauty. That's right, you will. I love it. Um, is that, what do we have here? Yes, uh, Revlon Professional Unique One Dry Shampoo. Uh, this is the one thing you can do for your hair on a plane. Put yes. it in at the end of a flight. It'll give you back some volume. It'll make your hair look clean again. Yes. And a good tip too, if you put some on your hands and just smooth it through the ends of your hair, okay. it'll give you a little bit of extra shine mm. and make your hair smell fresh, which is really great. His hair is porous and it picks up all the bad smells in an airplane. It really so. does. Okay, this is the coolest looking thing. Yes. I don't even know what these are, but I want them. These are brushes for, they can be for your skin care such as serums moisturizers yes. or your makeup and it's oh. great because what you can do is pack just one of these yeah. and use it for multiple products because they're Cosma fiber it's synthetic you feel how dense and soft that is oh my gosh it's really soft yeah, yeah. it's gonna provide flawless application very easily and then mm -hmm. you just wipe it on a microfiber cloth between uses mm -hmm. and it's completely clean so you can use this for 
foundation for a moisturizer, put on a bit of blush, oh. and you only need to pack one tool during the flight. And it's completely hypoallergenic because it's not hair, it's not animal bristles, yes. and it's not going to further irritate or uh, cause any issues with your skin that's already having trouble because having of the issue. plain That's right. The plain air. Yes. <gasps> that's why she looks so good. Yeah. Really good tips there, Sabrina. And keep traveling. We're enjoying that on your Instagram.